r slash shower thoughts. Cohen Sloity says. The mechanics of zombies doesn't really work. Okay, hear me out. A typical zombie usually eats flesh slash organs. They don't just bite like a vampire and peace out. Lots of media shows them feasting on bodies, why then is it shows like The Walking Dead have full walking zombies not missing any limbs. They should be completely devout as zombies don't just stop after one bite. Thoughts? Ranikonix says. Easily explained by living beings getting away after being bitten, and then turning. Never had the chance to eat them. Dudashud says. Also in The Walking Dead everyone was infected, and turned after death. Getting bit just killed them. Where real freak, Ed says. The virus remains dormant until either contact with an active form of the virus, via bite or scratch, or activates upon death otherwise. Challenge Accepted 9 says. A concept in which human bodies can continue to function after death and only a shot to the head will, usually, stop motor activity and this is the bit you think doesn't work. Nonian says. This is the thing. Without a functional digestive, circulatory, and pulmonary systems, a human body literally cannot physically function. Unless the zombie virus is like rage from 28 days later, where the zombies are living humans who are just really aggressive, with all their weaknesses, zombies aren't actually scientifically plausible at all. They are basically magical beings. Asufan88 says. I think The Last of Us probably did it best. Kim Thielen 101 says. In the old days zombies just wanted brains. Random useless tips says. In the old days shower thoughts were shower thoughts. Kim Thielen 101 says. I have ruined too many phones in the shower, so I don't start shower thoughts post anymore. Beautiful Rough 421 says. How many Big Macs can you eat? An arm must be about four Big Macs. Maybe they get four. Drowning Infosys says. I think I read somewhere in World War Z that some zombies could consume 100s of pounds of flesh at a time. Not sure if that is zombie cannon or what though. Egnard says. When a carcass is completely devoured it typically does not become a zombie, just like a vampire in a lot of lore, can prevent someone from turning through various means, typically completely killing them. Even if they did, these carcasses would be less likely to be the ones you see chasing humans, because they are more likely to be less coordinated, and move far slower. Though. Often in movies we do see half corpses trying to drag themselves after humans. Why don't zombies eat each other? This has been addressed often in pop culture, and even heavily explained in the semi-comedic Shaun of the Dead where they use the scent to shamble and escape. I think they did this, in Walking Dead in like the first episode too. r slash shower thoughts. Tragicharo84 says. Fish is one of the only foods, that the more it tastes like what it is, the less people enjoy it. Mudlegguy12 says. The more it tastes like what it smells like maybe. I like raw fish. Ketchup and can cakes says. Eggs have entered the chat. We kindle Z says. The best way to compliment a recipe with kale is you can hardly taste the kale. Salter White says. That's also applied to any other meat. That's why we cook and spice it up. Night Pop says. People usually dislike cheese the more it tastes like moldy milk. Parking Fox 69 says. I like eating my wife's ass. I do not want it tasting like ass though, not a food though. Contactus C3963 says. Most meats in America are a lot less gamey than their international counterparts. I like it. My wife doesn't. Well Avindita Jitha says. Hot take. People who drink their coffee at Starbucks don't like the smell and taste of coffee. Riddit Lavesterini says. Catfish is delicious, but many people dislike the muddy taste of the bottom feeding fish. Pro tip, 
soak the fillets in buttermilk for a few hours before cooking them, the buttermilk knocks out the muddy taste. Sigh. Now I wanna go fishing, but I cannot stand, being cold so inside I sit upon my bed, scrolling reddit on my phone. What am I doing with my life? In Vladid username says. Wait cod is not covered in layers of deep fried batter like at Long John Silver's? Comprehensive Lemon 5 says. Not true for me, I, frick, I love fish, the fishier the better. Dramatic Mastered 93 says. Everything tastes like what it tastes like. Quip Crafter says. False. I like my fish, fishy. I like my game, gamey. Or I'd eat something else, that I do want to taste. But generally I'm just not picky, and learn to greatly appreciate and cherish all the subtle flavor profiles of the food I have, and don't want to waste. You do realize that fish sauce, for extra fishy taste in dishes, is a very popular thing around the world, right? R slash shower thoughts. S Street says. Smoking is the plant-based alternative to vaping. Ryder Grexx says. Or is smoking the acoustic version of vaping? Caesar CZ says. What do you think vaping is? Where does glycerol slash glycerine come from? QBH Young says. No, it's not. There are a lot more additives in a cigarette which are not plant-based. Vape typically only contains nicotine and VG or PG, which are all plant-based. It's literally the exact opposite of what you just said. Kaosa says. But it's way worse, because of the combustion of the plant causing tar buildup. Formaldehyde. Hydrogen cyanide. John Schmidt says. Having a conversation face to face, is the analog version of a podcast. That Gua That Says Ward says. Except that it's not. Prof Devil's Advocate says. Watching TV is electronic based alternative to watching, live scenes slash s. Lick Mitchell Marsh says. So, there are. Vegan vapors? Play 4 says. Vaping is the electronic alternative to smoking, actually. The Mr. Wilson says. Both will get you high. Fudlow says. I barely the converse is true. Three shots before breakfast says. Oh, have my upvote, you magnificent nonce. R slash shower thoughts. Nemad 66 says. The value of human life is subject to the law of supply and demand. A single life is worth far more in a low population country than it is in a high population country. Various Mobile 4767 says. The value of human labor, not the value of human life. And you're only looking at it in the supply side. Low population may also imply low demand. Trebron 55 says. This is simply not true. The value of human life is never absolute, it's highly subjective. If you ask a mining company, how much their miners worth vs ask their family, you get very different results. And in addition, it very much depends on the culture and values of the society. The us in general will do whatever it can, just to recover the body of just one soldier or to free one hostage, whereas Russia with third of the us's population throws away thousands on a weekly basis. Thinking about me says. Value is subjective and relative to the individual. Ignir Schumann says. As crazy as this may sound, human lives are not, or should not be, a product that can be bought or sold. Through history, though, the people workforce were used as such, slavery, poor working conditions which does not provide the necessary to survive, etc. If you see people's lives as only how much they can work, then this might be true. Actual.1771 says. Which is weird, because China is far more efficient at caring for their individual citizens than the richest country in the world. Lirian says. Congratulations, you've discovered the handmaid's tale. 
a Bradle Flinkler 77 says. Why do you think American politicians are fighting so hard for anti-abortion laws? It all starts to make sense when you start to think about it. Thagamasunda1 says. From media coverage, it seems that the lives of people from western countries are more valuable than eastern or southern countries. Ethel Rakes says. Laughs in United States. Bogusnell says. Value of human life is something we made up. Nobody or nothing else gives a frick about our lives. R slash shower thoughts. Owen Wilson's nose says. Sports cars look best in colors normal cars look terrible in. Whistler says. I have noticed a tendency for sports cars to be in primary colors, while normal cars are more likely to be a shade of something, even. Pastel. Scarf says. Bright, single color show dirt slash dust slash mud slash scratches far more easily. Given sports cars are expected to be maintained and not driven in bad conditions, that's partly why they are painted those colors. Owen Wilson's nose says. Exactly. Looks tacky on normal cars. But exotic sports cars look almost boring with normal colors. Black being an exception. Cool Handrock 1 says. Yellow Prius equals cab. Yellow Ferrari equals cool. Rivera 423 says. Lamborghinis look good painted almost any color. Leading Study 876 says. Metallic lime green looks particularly good on a Mercilago. But Crackman Ace says. My dad has a second gen MKX. It was originally painted the boring ass pearl white that half of those things come in. He had it repainted in Porsche burnt orange. This sounds horrible but is absolutely bizach in and person. King Jidora says. I completely disagree. The problem is that most normal cars have garbage shades of fun colors. Many sports cars also have awful color options, but you don't see them for the same reason. Gamebo1 says. I feel it really depends on the body styling of the car, if it's something crazy looking anyways. Going balls to the walls on color only works in its favor, but if it's some real slick, but non standout then it becomes hard to decide, like I love the Velocity Red RX8S. But my white one is shockingly beautiful, because the white with weird ass shape, relatively speaking for the time and price it came in, makes it. Pop and shiny white makes it far more interesting. A bathing snape says. I'm biased but silver supras look so basic to me compared to my car's yellow. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.